Unit 16. Never let me go. Human clones and ethics. March 30th. The ebbs and flows of friendship resonate throughout Never Let Me Go. Just like humans, the clones have complicated relationships. Indeed, the realism of their connections is used by Ishiguro to make his point about the ethics of human cloning. Therefore, he deliberately avoids telling the reader that Kathy, Ruth, and Tommy are clones until later on in the novel. The readers don't know the setting is a dystopian reality, which allows them to build compassion for the characters and their friendships. In the same vein, the clones' battles to create identities for themselves are similar to the ones that readers go through in their own lives. This is identified through the clones' constant struggle to establish themselves through their art. The gallery where their best work is exhibited changes the perception of their self worth. Tommy's work is never accepted, indicating that he accepts his insignificant identity all along. Kathy's art is well received, which represents how she uses art to justify her sense of self in what is meant to be a meaningless existence. While the science of human cloning plays an unimportant role in the novel, the ethics of the scientific breakthrough are paramount. Ishiguro emphasizes throughout the novel that the clones are more than just carbon copies of humans. They have the same reception to pain and pleasure, sexual urges, and mental cognition. Just like humans, the clones have the capacity to carry out routine tasks, fall in love, and hold future aspirations. All this begs the question that if clones are human in their relationships, identities, and physiques, Is the practice of dismantling them for science morally and ethically sound?